five fighting video games of all time. All time. All time. Yeah, so that's going to be... Even the future. There shall never be anything to do better than these. Ever. Forever. Okay, so we're just going to do a combined list. I'm going to do five. Brendan's going to do four. I'm going to do three. <laughs> gonna do he's going to do two, two and then I'm going to do one. Okay, so I'll start off with five. Uh, the number five greatest fighting video game of all time, I'm going to give to Mortal Kombat 2. Now, a lot of people would give it to Mortal Kombat, but I liked how no, Mortal Kombat 2 is played. definitely better. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was better. I liked how they expanded out the rosters. I, I thought they made a lot of clone characters, and that was really the first time they, you'd seen that in a lot of controls. video games. And they tightened up better. the controls. Uh, I also like how they did their their the graphic style was like taking yeah. pictures of people, and I don't know what that's called. Yeah, in the the console versions, they they just made it so much, especially on the like I, I think the arcades might have been closer together, but when they ported it to the consoles, two was where it really starts being worth playing. Mm-hmm. And that's where we get toasty. And a lot of other things. That's yes. All right, Brendan. What's number get four? Get over here. That was uh, number four. Number four is going to go to Soul Calibur 2. Soul Calibur 2, okay. Again, on two. Like, I don't know. With fighting games with twos, that it works out well. But Soul Calibur, I like the best of the Soul Calibers. It was fun back in the day when uh, they split it up between the different consoles. Each console had its own exclusive game. You were like, oh, I want to play with that. Actually, it wasn't. I want to play with that guy. It was always, I want to play with Link, but who has a GameCube? Everyone has a PS2, right? But every once in a while, you go and you play with your friend who has the GameCube version, and you're like, Which we had a GameCube Link. version, actually. That's why he's saying that. We had the PS2 version initially. Eventually, we had that GameCube version. No, I don't remember ever having the PlayStation 2 version. I remember playing, well, maybe we just rented it, because I remember playing uh, with uh, Hadachi, who was the PS2 exclusive, the guy from Tech. So I, I remember when we got Yoda in that. Are you thinking about two, or are you thinking about the maybe like, I'm thinking about three, four, three or four. four? But yeah, I do remember having Link too, and, and I, I do like that type of combat system. It is the more weapon based combat, which yeah. is a lot of fun to play too. It was weapon based. It was it's it's a simple enough game to pick up and just start doing cool things with. Like certain characters, you can just do combos with without knowing what you're doing. But it can get more complex. You can make it harder. Um, which most of them you can, but it has a really good entry point, unlike some uh, some other fighting games. Yeah, easy to learn, difficult to master, hmm. which is how I think video games should be. Yeah, and a good bit of diversity, even at the second one, and nice extra game modes beyond just you know arcade fighting. Hmm. Um, the the story paths you can go to, whatever. It was, it was cool. Okay. It was a good time. So we're moving on to number three. And number three is going to be Tekken 3. That's actually a very good choice. That's my uh, That was Tekken. the last one on the PlayStation. Um, I remember that was one of the first fighting video games that I actually went through and beat it with all the characters hmm. just to get all the special characters. And they had like an interesting volleyball mode and they had a kangaroo you could fight with and <laughs> Tekken the, 3. The dinosaur, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about picking Tekken uh, tag tournament, which was amazing too, but Tekken three, I think, I, I would put that above. And all I know I think is Tekken that Tekken three is where that that franchise really took off. Yeah, like, that was pretty definitive. Right and there. and when you could play as Eddie and do the capoeira fighting, mm. that was nothing better. And Huang, that guy was a beast. So yeah, that was one of the only ones that I made sure I went through and got everything I could for it. That so, game was so not only I remember too. We didn't just get everything for that. We did it without turning off the PlayStation because we first had that game Before early when we card. had the PlayStation. Yeah, we didn't have a memory card, so to so, get everything, we had to just keep play playing. with te- you know we you know go between different people. Like, okay, now you you go for a little while. You have to beat everyone, mm-hmm. um, but we got we did it. We got all the way to to gain the final character ogre, the true form ogre, and yep. uh, we got gone and everyone else. And then so a cat stepped on it, and we had to do it again. Yep. But that happens. But okay, what's number two, Brendan? I'm giving it to Smash Brothers, the first one. A lot of people like okay. Melee. I do like the new one. But I like the first one. The first one was so good to start with. 
it was a very different kind of fighter using four different fighters at a time and all the Nintendo characters who all play so differently, um, even with just the, the few. Um, it, it's also got that nostalgia appeal to me. Like, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It, it was a different, it was a new type of fighter for its time. Uh, with a different type of control, well. you didn't need to learn all these crazy button combinations to do special moves. Everybody's special move was the same. The way to do it was the same. It was more about timing and reflexes and, and just finding out the flow. And I remember that, that game for the first one, they had a timed mode. You could do it either by level uh, amount of lives you lose or time mode. And um, I, I would play that with an hour-long match, and I would play that all the way through. And it was, it was good times. Yeah. And it's, it was a very quick game to pick up. That was um, the original and Melee were games that um, I actually played with my, my, my sweet mates and roommates in my first year of college. And we just played that so much. Like the game had been out for forever even by that point. Um, but we, we would play like, oh, we got five minutes between class. Yeah, let's play around. Oh, what we've played everything before. Let's just do randoms. Oh, we've done all that. Well... Now you can only be Donkey Kong and jump off while holding people. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know, you can do all <laughs> kinds of crazy stuff. And it was just always good fun, though. Yeah, but, good time. So we're on to our number one top fighting game of all time. And I was, see, like I said, we did not plan this out ahead of time. But when I said for Brendan to do number two, I said, okay, he's going to pick one of two, which was either Super Smash Brothers, which he picked, or Street Fighter 2. And I was like, whichever one's left will be number one. Well, I had to pick um, Smash Brothers because Street Fighter 2... I knew you were going to say Street Fighter 2, and that has to be number one. Yeah, that has to be number one. Street Fighter 2 is That is the game that let every... I mean, that just broke the mold for fighting games. That is the the game that launched a genre almost. So you cannot have the genre-defining game anything but number one. So Street Fighter 2... You have our number one. Are you giving um, Street Fighter Two or Street Fighter Two Turbo? I, or just the whole thing? Because see, I'd almost say Street Fighter Two Turbo was better. Yeah, I would say Turbo Turbo was it was the Street same Fighter game. Two was they the just made it launched. faster, and more yeah, characters. They made it faster, and they put a couple more characters in. Um, but I'd say Street Fighter Two because Turbo didn't come out for a couple of years until after Street Fighter Two came out. That's true, but still, I I would say still Turbo if we're going to pay. Eh, we can just say all of Street Fighter 2, I guess, but yeah, Turtles whole, is kind of like the yeah. final form. So, I mean, Street Fighter and Ryu and Ken and Ndulkin, um, still to this day, they that's what everybody bases their game off of, <laughs> is those those character types, like the Chun-Li, fast, not quite as powerful. Zangief, slower, but extremely powerful. Ryu and Ken, the kind in the middle. Yeah. Dalsim, the backup fighter, you know, get a little more range. E Honda, I think he was best when he was up close. I mean, that those kind of architects were what everybody has based their characters off of. Uh, Combo since. breaking and, and the, the special moves, everything. Um, the dealing with sides of level whatever like the way that pro players play was really set by how that game played mm -hmm. um and really introduced like the the idea of, like pro fighting game players i, I think anyway um and it didn't introduce the idea somebody else introduced it introduced no, the idea that it, would make it introduced it, it said hey guys Pro fighting game players. Because you don't exist yet, but we're going to introduce this idea. <laughs> okay. It was, it was great on the. It was great in the arcade. It was great on consoles. It's still great. Like, I about. I was, I've been actually debating the last like couple days. It's on sale right now on PSN. You can get the Street HD Fighter version 2. of it. Street Fighter Two HD. Hmm. It's like That's four bucks. Gotta have it. Yeah. Well, let's play it. So. So that well, is I already our have it for Super list. Nintendo and Genesis. <laughs> well, <I think. laughs> that is our top five list of the five greatest fighting games of all time. And I guess we're talking about it because Street Fighter V had an announcement out. And also Evo just happened last week. So, uh, yeah, there's reasons we're talking about it. Not just because we're randomly thinking of it. Evo did just happen. No, we yeah. randomly thought about it too. I just made up that Evo thing. I was just like, "Wait, Evo did just happen." Okay, so that'll be another reason we just did this. So I, I honestly, I thought of it because of um, I, I there was the sale on a bunch of fighting games, and I've been looking at getting a bunch of fighting games right now, and I've been narrowing down which ones are good enough for me to buy. 
Well, we just we just gave you your definitive <laughs> list. So <laughs> let us know what your top fighting games are. Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. Thank you.